wish the Greek Economic Forum great success in this uh, roundtable for Greece as the Greek economy is on the way to exiting the country's Great Depression, uh, having lost over a quarter of our GDP uh, with uh, unemployment rate at nightmare proportions. This has been a crisis that has resulted very much from our own domestic policy failures and omissions, failures to do the necessary reforms when the time was ripe, failures to uh, take care of our budget deficits and uh, prevent them from going out of control, failure to um, control our current account deficit and to control our public debt on the way to the 2009-2010 debt crisis. Um, so this has been a crisis of our own domestic governance and I would say not just economic governance but also political governance but it has also been a crisis of the Eurozone uh, a result of its own systemic failures, policy omissions um, and inability to prevent and also uh, sufficiently and adequately react to the crisis when the crisis broke. Um, and in that sense, the way out of the crisis and the way forward uh, must be uh, a two-pillar process. Greece has to continue uh, on the way of structural reforms. Uh, there can be no more additional austerity, uh, but there has to be an important transfer of resources uh, from the non-traded to the traded sectors of the economy so that the Greek economy can enter a sustainable growth path by growing through a, a greater export orientation than it has had so far. Uh, we have to continue on the way of structural reforms and fixing uh, a state that delivers a welfare system that is able to work for the poor and the weak and not just the interest groups that are better connected or politically powerful. Uh, we have to continue to improve our tax collection system and make it European um, and to render the economy an attractive destination for investment, both domestic investment, domestic uh, business capital and also foreign uh, investment. But this has to happen at the same time uh, with a very important effort on the part of the Eurozone, uh, not just to design uh, the future Euro's architecture, which is on the way, but also uh, most urgently to assist the process of recovery for the South, uh, for Greece and for other economies that are suffering unacceptable levels of unemployment such as Spain, for example. And um, this has to, to take place by way of, of a very generous uh, investment support to the periphery and unemployment support. We have already seen that decided at European Council level in the Growth and Employment uh, Pact of June 2013. This hasn't been fully implemented. Um, unemployment support must take care of cyclical unemployment while structural reforms um, are addressing structural unemployment. We need a huge investment stimulus in order to be able to uh, cover for the ground lost and create growth opportunities for the future. Of course, a debt relief is on the way and it has to be provided uh, in a generous and open-minded manner. And of course, it has to rest on sustained primary budget surpluses on our part. Uh, national economic policy and fiscal responsibility has to be met by European level solidarity. Um, and for that, we need uh, a sustainable structure for the Eurozone, a structure that will be able to address asymmetric crisis of the kind that we have witnessed, a crisis that will be able to address the kind of market failures and interdependence failures and governance failures that have led us to this crisis. And this means moving ahead um, with the banking union, but not forgetting the third pillar of the banking union in the Eurozone, which is the uh, deposit insurance pillar. Moving ahead with fiscal integration in the Eurozone, uh, and this means a process towards mutualization of debt, uh, some sort of Eurobond, um, 
Uh, and of course, this goes together with greater loss of, of budgetary autonomy, but also a Eurozone budget that will be able to address asymmetric crises of the type that we have seen. Uh, that is a budgetary fiscal capacity for the Eurozone. And we also need closer, much closer economic policy coordination and a more effective response to the social crisis uh, and the rising inequality and poverty that is taking place today in the Eurozone. If we do not have these um, elements of an architecture of the Eurozone, uh, the Eurozone um, will not be able to resist the forces of disintegration and fragmentation. So we have to restore the viability of the Eurozone project on the longer term, on the long term. And in order to do that, we have to render the Eurozone more cohesive, uh, based on greater solidarity and uh, uh, being founded on uh, national policy responsibility that delivers. So with these um, words, I'd like to wish you great success in your uh, conference and send you all my best wishes. Thank you.